So good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Hotel Park in Rovin. It's a very beautiful setting for the second full workshop organized by the IUCR uh, DDD Working Group. And the title of our session uh, this time is Metadata for Raw Data from X-ray Diffraction and Other Structural Techniques. So we had a very successful workshop in Bergen uh, some years ago now, uh, in which we uh, laid out the um, uh, goals of the, of the working group, uh, the challenges that uh, were in front of any proposal to routinely deposit uh, diffraction data on the large scale. And one of the things that came out from that workshop and from subsequent meetings uh, was that it's all very well being able to archive raw data, but you need to be able to characterize it so that you can effectively validate it, reuse it, and get the most benefit from it. Uh, and this workshop specializes, uh, focuses really on all those aspects of metadata in that context. Um, it's, a, it's a rather unusual workshop in a way because uh, it's rare that metadata is coupled with scientific uh, imperatives. Uh, metadata is very much a buzzword in uh, the digital library and repository world. Um, we want, uh, in the course of the next two days, to demonstrate to working scientists uh, that it's an integral part of the science they do, uh, that they publish, that they share, that they analyze, disseminate, and so on. Uh, we have a stellar cast of speakers uh, addressing a very wide range of uh, topics from both the uh, applied scientific and from the data management uh, perspectives. Uh, looking forward immensely to the next couple of days. I'm sure that uh, we'll have a, a fantastic workshop. Uh, just a couple of uh, minor housekeeping points uh, before we get started. Uh, so just outside the room, uh, there are uh, bathrooms to the left. Uh, a little further down, there's a, an area for refreshments where the coffee breaks and where the lunch will be served. Um, and uh, we have um, a timetable, a little sheet that I hope everyone has, uh, which will give you the time of the breaks and of the presentations. Um, I apologize for the fact that the program book hasn't made it to, uh, to Rovinian time. It's, uh, it's been printed, it's on its way, but it's not actually going to get here until after the workshop. But it includes reprints of the um, publications in Acta D that came from the previous workshop. Uh, it's quite a significant book in its own right. Uh, so please pick up a copy from the IUCR booth at the main uh, congress during the course of the week. Um, we have the uh, pleasure and privilege to be in this, this beautiful Adriatic resort. Um, we are a relatively small group physically gathered here, uh, but thanks to the generosity of a number of sponsors, we're able to broadcast to the world. Uh, all the proceedings of the next two days will be available streamed live on the web and subsequently archived for uh, scrutiny on the DDD workshop um, working group uh, web page. Uh, the sponsors who've uh, helped us in this way are on this slide. Um, so particular thanks to, to Dectris, who very generously uh, provided a large sum that went towards funding the, the web stream. And in addition, uh, further helpful support came from IUCR journals, who are very interested in the publication and dissemination aspects. Cambridge Crystallographic Data Center, who have a, a, a lot to do with metadata in characterizing the data that they store and make available to the community. Uh, Wiley, uh, uh, the commercial um, publishing partner of IUCR, who are also interested in the publication aspects. Uh, Fitz Karlsruhe and the Inorganic uh, Structural Database, who have equal interest in well characterized data. Oxford Cryosystems, as a, an example of the smaller uh, experimental uh, companies that uh, see the importance of metadata. Brooker, who likewise uh, are very uh, keen to get the, the best characterization of the, the images from their detectors. And CoData, which is a, an international interdisciplinary organization that looks at uh, data, scientific data, in all its aspects, and taking a very close interest in all the work that we've done over the years. So we'll try to keep uh, to the printed timetable as best we can. And I'd like, therefore, to hand over to John Helliwell, who will review the, um, the 
progress of the diffraction group since the last measurement.